Today, I simulated the entire 2024 Formula One season with updated liveries, updated car performance, updated driver rankings, and just so many mods. You guys are absolutely going to love it. Who do you think will win the championship? Will Verstappen and Red Bull dominate again, or will there be a surprise in the standings? Stay tuned to find out. My name is Chris. Welcome back to CF Racing, and enjoy the video. Hey everybody, what's going on? Chris here, otherwise known as CF Racing, and today is the day for my official 2024 simulation. Besides, with the technically official liveries, I've got pretty much 10 really good fan-made liveries, and then a mock-up of the McLaren livery that we've seen so far. Obviously, we don't know what the cars are going to be, but we got Visa Cash App, Red Bull, we got Stake, you know how it is, we got all those... All those uh, cars in the grid heading into 2024 here. Same with updated driver performances and, like I said, team liveries and car performances and just a few other things to make the game just run a little bit more realistic, which is very exciting. Also want to say go check out every single mod creator. All their links are going to be in the description down below. Once again, video would not be possible without them. And with that being said, guys, hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends, join the Discord. We do uh, giveaways monthly there, so you guys definitely want to be there for that. And also, I just want to say one more time, enjoy the car launches because I made a quick little edit for this so I hope you guys enjoy it without being said guys.
and heading into round one in Bahrain, this is what the car performance looks like, and unfortunately, Red Bull is quite a ways ahead here of Ferrari. McLaren is the third best team. Aston Martin's the fourth best team. And Mercedes actually in the in the offseason has dropped down to fifth. Then we got Alpine straight in sixth. Haas, surprisingly, has the seventh best car, followed by Williams. Alfa Romeo, uh, which is steak. I can't change the name on here, unfortunately. And then Visa Cash App RB, which is Alpha Tauri. They are in last heading into Bahrain but hey we'll be keeping up with the development updates throughout the season so I'll keep you guys uh in notice for that race one in Bahrain was won by Max Verstappen with Shaw Leclerc in P2 and Carlos Sainz in P3 Lando Norris was fourth followed by Sergio Perez fifth Hamilton sixth Russell seventh Alonso eighth and Gasly ninth Albon tenth Verstappen had fastest lap but surprisingly Shaw Leclerc actually started from pole even though that Red Bull as we just saw before is miles clear of the field Race 2 in Saudi Arabia was won by Verstappen and his second place for Paris ends up with a Red Bull 1-2. Charles Leclerc was third with Sainz fourth followed by Russell fifth, Lando Norris sixth, Hamilton seventh, Piastri eighth, Alonso ninth, Gasly tenth. Verstappen had fastest lap pole and he got the Grand Slam. Well done Max in Saudi Arabia. Race 3 in Australia was Charles Leclerc's first win since Austria 2022. You love to see it as he takes the win with Verstappen in P2 and Sergio Perez P3. I guess Leclerc kind of likes Australia because he won there in 2022 as well. Lando Norris was 4th followed by Hamilton 5th, Russell 6th, Carlos Sainz had a pretty poor race in 7th, Piastri 8th, Alonso 9th, Gasly P10, Sainz had fastest lap and Charles Leclerc actually won from pole. That's very exciting. The Baku sprint race was also won by Charles Leclerc and you guys know he's amazing at Baku with Verstappen in P2 and Perez third. Russell was fourth, followed by Piastri, Hamilton, Norris, and Alonso rounding out the top eight. The main race in Baku was actually won by Charles Leclerc again. Like I said, Baku wizard. He loves this track. I'm just saying. Verstappen finished in P2, followed by Sainz in P3. Hamilton was fourth, followed by Lando Norris, Fernando Alonso, Oscar Piastri, Esteban Ocon eighth, Lance Stroll ninth, Albon tenth. Charles Leclerc had fastest lap. Paul won the sprint race, won the main race, and had the ultimate Grand Slam. He was in the lead the whole time. Like, literally no one overtook him. He was unstoppable this weekend. Heading into round five in Miami, and it looks like Red Bull fall, fell off a little bit in terms of development. They're kind of flatlining right now, while Ferrari is absolutely uh, tearing it up with their developments. They're catching Red Bull. Mercedes is up to third best car. So was uh, McLaren's right behind them in fourth. They're all upgrading. Aston Martin fell back a little bit. Um... Uh, they're sixth, apparently, right now. I don't know what's going on here, but I guess getting rid of Gunther Steiner was the best thing they possibly could have done because they're better than Alpine right now. They're better than Williams. They're better than Steak, and they are better than Visa Cash App RB. What a stupid name, by the way. Let's head into round five in Miami. In Miami, Max Verstappen has won the last three and only three Miami Grand Prix with Charles Leclerc in P2 and Sergio Perez in third. Sainz was fourth, followed by Lando Norris in fifth, Hamilton sixth, Russell seventh, Alonso eighth, Gasly ninth, Ocon tenth. Sainz had fastest lap and pole, but unfortunately, he did not win the race. After Miami, this is what the driver standings looks like. And ooh, we might have a two horse race here between Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc. They are 10 points within each other. Then we got uh, Sergio Perez in third and Carlos Sainz in fourth. They might have a battle for second place, maybe. Then we got Lando Norris doing really well in fifth. Hamilton sixth. George Russell is in seventh. Alonso's carrying Aston Martin in eighth. Piastri is in ninth. Gasly is in tenth. Alcon's 11th. Stroll is 12th with two points. Nice. Uh, Alabono is 13th. Nico Hülkenberg is in 14th. Bottas uh, hasn't scored. K-Mag, Sonoda, Joe, Daniel Ricciardo, and Logan Sargent all haven't scored. And unfortunately, Daniel Ricciardo is not looking too good right now. But that again, none of these guys have scored, so you don't really know. Here's the constructor standings. Red Bull's on top by 12 points ahead of Ferrari. Then we got 100, uh, 100 points behind them is Mercedes. Looks like it's going to be a two literal two-horse race or horse and bull race because, you know, Red Bull Ferrari. Mercedes is third, followed by McLaren fourth, Aston Martin in fifth, Alpine sixth, Williams seventh. They do have two points though, so that's pretty good for Williams. That could carry them pretty far. Haas is in eighth, Alfa Romeo's ninth, or stake, shall I, shall I say, and Visa Cash Up RB. Alfa Tari is in tenth. In Imola, Max Verstappen takes the win, no surprise, with Charles Leclerc P2 and George Russell in third. Lando Norris finishes fourth, followed by Carlos Sainz. Lando Norris is really good at finishing fourth, by the way. Hamilton is in sixth, Perez seventh, Alonso eighth. Albon in the Williams getting two points for them. That is awesome. They're at four points now to finish ninth. Stroll tenth, Verstappen at fastest lap, and Charles Leclerc, what do you know, had pole. Oscar Piastri won in Monaco. He won a race before Lando Norris. Lando Norris fans are not going to like this one. I'm sorry. Just... 
That's what the game did. I, I can, I don't know what to say. Charles Leclerc finished P2 and Lando Norris finishes third. Wait, Leclerc got a podium. That's awesome. Uh, Sainz finished fourth, followed by George Russell. Hamilton sixth. Verstappen had a terrible race. He finished seventh. Alonso eighth. Perez ninth. Stroll finished in P10. He's a P10 merchant in this sim. Piastri had fastest lap and Lando Norris started from pole and he still didn't win. It feels bad. Race 8 in Spain was won by Charles Leclerc with Hamilton in P2 and Verstappen in 3rd. Sainz was 4th, followed by Perez 5th, Lando Norris 6th, Piastri 7th, Alonso 8th, Gasly 9th, K-Mag in the Haas finishing P10, you love to see it, followed by Charles Leclerc with fastest lap pole, and he got the Grand Slam, he kind of dominated. Race 9 in Canada was Carlos Sainz's 3rd win of his Formula 1 career, with Charles Leclerc in P2 and Verstappen in 3rd. Hamilton was 4th, followed by George Russell 5th, Alonso 6th, Perez 7th, Piastri 8th, Norris 9th, Yuki Tsunoda getting Visa Cash App RB first ever points, with uh, George Russell in P, uh, fastest lap, sorry, and Charles Leclerc once again had pole. <laughs> And heading in to round 10 in Austria, it is getting very close at the top of the grid. As maybe Red Bull, maybe they're maxing out their car. I don't really know what's going on here, but Ferrari is right behind them. Then we got McLaren and Mercedes right beside behind them as well. Aston Martin is pretty high up there. Haas is like in no man's land right now in six. Good for them. Then Alpine is being mid with Williams, Stake, and Visa Cash App, or VCarb, I guess how you want to say it. But yeah, the top of the grid is looking pretty exciting for the next 13, 12 races that we got. And in the Austria sprint race, Verstappen wins with Leclerc P2, Sainz P3, Perez fourth, Lando Norris fifth, Hamilton sixth, Russell seventh, and Alonso in P8. And Max won the feature race in, or oh, not feature race, just the main race in Austria. No surprise, him and Charles Leclerc dominate there anyway. Verstappen finishes P1 with Charles Leclerc P2. It's really like a good one-two combo here, Verstappen and Leclerc. With Sainz third, Norris fourth, Hamilton in P5, Piastri sixth, Alonso was seventh, Russell eighth, Gasly ninth. Zhou Guang Yu takes stakes first ever points in P10. Good for Zhou, honestly. Followed by Charles Leclerc with fastest lap and pole position goes to Max Verstappen. Here's the driver standings after Austria, and Shot Leclerc has a one-point lead. You love to see it over Max Verstappen. If this actually happens in real life, that would be the greatest season of all time. I don't really want to hear it for 2021, because like everybody wants to see Ferrari in a title fight. Followed by uh, Carlos Sainz in third, Norris fourth, Hamilton fifth. Perez has dropped down to sixth, guys. He is not performing very well, and if I could have, I would have swapped him at this point. But I didn't feel like it. So we got George Russell also having a pretty poor, not poor season. He's still, he's like 40 points behind Hamilton. But like, he should be doing better. Piastri was in eighth. He's doing all right. He's got like half of Lando Norris's points. Uh, Alonso is in ninth, followed by Gasly 10th. Alcon's 11th, Stroll is in 12th, Albon is in 13th. He's tied with Stroll and he's in a Williams, by the way. That's pretty sad. K-Mag's in 14th. And we got Joe 15th, Sonoda 16th. And then yet to score is Hulkenberg, Bottas, Daniel Ricciardo and Logan Sargent from 17th to 20th. Come on, we need we need Hulkenberg and Bottas and Ricciardo to score some points here. In the constructor standings, Ferrari, since Paris fell off, has a 50-point lead now. Good job for Leclerc and Sainz. Maybe Ferrari will actually win something. That would be really cool. Red Bull's in second, followed by Mercedes is in third. They have a pretty close fight with McLaren in fourth. Then Aston Martin's all on their own in fifth. Alpine's in sixth. Williams is seventh. Haas is eighth. Alfa Romeo or Stake is in P9. And Visa Cash App Red Bull. Of racing bulls or Alphatari in P10. In round 11 in Silverstone, Charles Leclerc takes the win, extending his championship lead with Perez in P2 and Lewis Hamilton in P3. Verstappen was fourth. Wow, big difference there from Leclerc and Verstappen with Russell fifth, Lando Norris sixth, Carlos Sainz seventh, Piastri eighth, Alonso P9, Gasly P10, getting more points for Alpine. That's all you gotta do. Perez at fastest lap and Charles Leclerc won from pole. He's 12 and hungry. Verstappen claws back the championship a little, just a little bit, just a bit. He's still, not, he's still not ahead of Leclerc yet, but Hamilton is in P2. Good job for Hamilton. He's a hungry merchant, by the way. And Charles Leclerc is in third. Perez was fourth, followed by Piastri fifth, Lando Norris sixth, Carlos Sainz 7th, Alonso 8th, Gasly 9th, Ocon P10, Verstappen had fastest lap, extra point for him, and Hamilton had pole. Perez actually won something. This is, he won the Spa sprint race, weird, with Verstappen in 2nd, and Charles Leclerc 3rd, Sainz was 4th, Norris was 5th, Hamilton 6th, Piastri 7th, and Alonso was P8. But Max Verstappen did end up winning the Spa main race, and I think he's now back in the championship lead, if my math serves me right, with Perez in P2 and Carlos Sainz in 3rd. Charles Leclerc was 4th, followed by Lando Norris, Piastri 6th, 
Uh, Hamilton 7th, Russell 8th, Alonso 9th, Albon in the Williams gets more points in P10, with Perez getting pole and the fastest lap. Wow, good job. Good weekend for Perez, except he finished in P2. Race 14 in the Netherlands was won by Carlos Sainz with Max Verstappen in P2. Ooh, Max would not like that if Carlos Sainz won in the Netherlands. And Charles Leclerc in P3. Russell was 4th, followed by Perez 5th, Hamilton 6th, Norris 7th, Piastri 8th, Alonso 9th, Gasly 10th. Norris had fastest lap and Charles Leclerc had pole, but once again, he didn't win from pole. <laughs> You'll love to see it. Heading into round 15 in Monza, looks like Red Bull has brought some more upgrades, making them kind of like by far the clearest car right now. Not really by far, but yeah. Ferrari, Mercedes, Aston, and McLaren are all fairly close within each other, so that's very exciting. That Alpine and Haas are in a development war right now, and Alpine is just been going crazy with their upgrades, damn. And then we have uh, Stake, Williams, and uh, Visa cash app racing bulls i'm just gonna call them racing bulls from now on they're all at the bottom they all really race 15 in monza was won by max verstappen with signs p2 and Charles Leclerc in p3 Perez was fourth followed by alonso fifth or norris fifth alonso sixth gasly seventh akon eighth hamilton p9 tough race from him piastri 10th fastest lap was verstappen and of course Charles Leclerc had pole but he didn't win from pole love it and in the standings, Max Verstappen now has a 25-point lead ahead of Charles Leclerc in P2, and Carlos Sainz is still in third. Perez was fourth with Hamilton fifth, Norris sixth, uh, uh, George Russell in P7. Now, he's now even farther behind uh, Lewis Hamilton, so Russell's having a tough year. Piastri is in eighth. He's clawed back a little bit of points on Lando there. Uh, Alonso is in ninth. Gasly is in tenth. Ocon's 11th. Albon's 12th. Stroll is 13th. K-Mag is 14th. Sonoda's 15th, Joe is 16th, Hulkenberg, Vatas, Ricardo, and Sargent still have not scored. They are from 17 to 20. And in the Constructors' Championship, looks like um, Red Bull's coming back a little bit here. Looks like Perez and Verstappen are getting a little better performances than uh, Ferrari at the moment. But Ferrari is still in, in P1 in the Constructors. Uh, leaving Monza, which is exciting. Then we got Mercedes and McLaren in P3 and P4. Aston's in fifth. Maybe they'll get caught by Alpine. Alpine's been performing pretty good recently. Then we got Williams in seventh, Haas eighth, uh, Stake is ninth, and Racing Bulls is in tenth. In Singapore, this is exactly what Charles Leclerc needed. He needed a win, and he got one as he finished P1 in Singapore. Hamilton was second, Russell's third, Sainz was fourth, Gasly was fifth, Norris was sixth, Verstappen finished seventh. He hasn't finished that low since like a race in 2021. Piastri was eighth, Perez ninth. Nico Hulkenberg scores his first points of the season to finish P10. Norris had fastest lap, and actually Hamilton started from pole. Race 17 was Mercedes' first win of the season, and it's a 1-2 for Russell and Hamilton in P2. Norris was third, Charles Leclerc was fourth, Alonso's fifth, Piastri sixth, Ocon in seventh, Sainz eighth, Gasly ninth, Stroll tenth. Verstappen had a DNF this race. Russell had the fastest lap, and Lewis Hamilton won from pole. The Qatar sprint race was Hamilton's first win of any sort in a while, as he won in the Qatar Sprint Race with Russell P2 and Charles Leclerc P3. Verstappen was fourth, followed by Sainz fifth, Perez sixth, Piastri seventh, and Gasly in eighth. And Lewis Hamilton won his first race in Saudi Arabia 2021. Can you believe that? That's crazy. What a long time. It took like over two, three years. That's crazy. Charles Leclerc was P2 with Russell third, Verstappen fourth, Perez fifth, Piastri sixth, Carlos Sainz in seventh, Lando Norris eighth, Alonso ninth, Gasly tenth, and Hamilton not only won the race, he had fastest lap pole, won the Qatar sprint race, started from pole there, had the ultimate grand slam. You love to see a great race from Lewis. The Coda Sprint Race was won by Charles Leclerc with Verstappen in P2 and Carlos Sainz in third. George Russell was fourth, followed by Paris fifth, Hamilton sixth, Alonso seventh, and Piastri in P8. But the main race in Coda was won by Verstappen with George Russell in P2 and Hamilton in third. Sainz was fourth, followed by Paris fifth, and Charles Leclerc is sixth. Tough race from him there. Piastri was seventh. Kevin Magnussen in the Haas finishing P8. Wow. Lando Norris in P9. Albon P10. Verstappen at fastest lap. And like we said, Charles Leclerc started from pole. Heading into round 20 in Mexico, it is an absolute cluster at the top of the field. Everybody's getting real close, as Red Bull is the best car, apparently, with Aston Martin second best, wow, uh, Ferrari's third, Mc Mercedes is fourth, McLaren's fifth, Haas is sixth, Alpine's seventh, Williams eighth, Stake is ninth, and Racing Bulls, uh, they still suck, they are kind of dead last, but yeah, it is very close at the top of the grid heading into Mexico, you love to see it. And in Mexico, Charles Leclerc takes the win, you love to see it, with Alonso in P3, wow, and Verstappen in P2. I think that's Alonso's first podium of the year. He finally got one. You love to see it. I love Fernando Alonso. Um, George Russell was fourth, followed by Hamilton fifth, Piastri sixth, Gasly seventh, Sainz eighth, Norris ninth, Albon was P10, but he had the fastest lap to get an extra point, and Charles Leclerc started from pole. 
And at the end of the Mexico City Grand Prix, Charles Leclerc actually has a three-point lead in the driver standings over Max Verstappen. This is going to come down to the wire with three races to go. Verstappen's in P2 with Sainz in third. Hamilton is in fourth, followed by um, uh, Perez fifth. Russell sixth, Norris seventh, Piastri eighth. Alonso is in ninth, Gasly's tenth, Ocon's eleventh, Albon is twelfth, KMX thirteenth, Lance Stroll's fourteenth, Nico Hulkenberg's fifteenth with a point, Sonoda's sixteenth, Joe seventeenth, and yet to score was Bottas, Ricardo, and Logan Sargent. And the constructor standings, it is looking like Ferrari might actually take the constructor's title uh, coming very soon with Ferrari in P1, Red Bull's P2, Mercedes is third, they're, they took, they're kind of clear of McLaren now, Aston's uh, in fifth, Alpine is sixth, Williams is seventh, Haas is eighth, Stake is ninth, and Racing Bulls is P10. And the Brazil sprint race was won by Max Verstappen with Charles Leclerc P2 and George Russell in third. Carlos Sainz was fourth, followed by Alonso fifth, Norris sixth, Paris seventh, and Hamilton in eighth. And in Brazil, Max Verstappen regains the championship lead with Perez P2, Alonso P3, George Russell's fourth with Charles Leclerc in fifth. Now we have a big lead for Max Verstappen. Norris was sixth, Sainz seventh, Hamilton eighth, Piastri ninth, Gasly P10, Verstappen at fastest lap, and he had pole position. And in round 22 in Las Vegas, George Russell won the race, but Max Verstappen has claimed his fourth consecutive World Drivers championship good for max he had a great title fight with Charles Leclerc all season but you'll see Russell won the race for Stappen was second Hamilton's third Piastri's fourth Sainz was fifth Norris was sixth Perez was seventh Charles Leclerc had a p8 here in Vegas and cannot take the title fight down to Abu Dhabi unfortunately Stroll was ninth Alonso's tenth Sainz had fastest lap and he had pole position and to wrap up the year George Russell again won a race he had a great end to the season with Charles Leclerc in p2 and Norris third Sainz was fourth followed by Alonso fifth and man if Leclerc could have had a better race race in Vegas. It would have been really close because Verstappen did finish 6th here in Abu Dhabi. Hamilton was 7th, Perez was 8th, Piastri was 9th, Gasly was P10, Russell had fastest lap, and Charles Leclerc had pole. And now guys, I'm going to show you the complete drivers and constructor standings and some final stats to end off the video. So as we know, Max Verstappen did end up winning the Drivers' Championship, but with a great title fight with Charles Leclerc, it was a really good season in my opinion. Sainz finished 3rd with Hamilton in 4th. He actually almost caught Sainz for 3rd. Told you, Hamilton's still really good, guys. George Russell, with all those wins, he ended up finishing fifth, followed by Perez in sixth. He kind of fell off, not gonna lie. He almost got passed by Lando Norris uh, in seventh. Piastri finished eighth. Alonso was in ninth, and Gasly was in tenth. Ocon was 11th with 16 points. He got destroyed by Gasly. Albon was 12th. Stroll was 13th. K-Mag was 14th with five points. Good job, K-Mag. Hulkenberg was 15th. Sonoda 16th. Joe 17th. Bottas, Ricardo, and Logan Sargent all did did not score, which kind of is very embarrassing, but yeah, they finished P18, 19, and 20. And in the Constructors' Championship for the first time since 2008, Ferrari have won the championship, not the drivers, but it was the Constructors' Championship. They had 744 points ahead of Red Bull 695. Really, it's all down to Perez because he sucked. Mercedes was third with McLaren in fourth. Aston Martin was fifth. Alpine was sixth. Williams was seventh. Haas was eighth. Stake was P9. And Racing Bulls ended up finishing in dead last. And now, guys, I have some final stats here that you guys can take a look at. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you want to see more simulations like this, hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends. You know what to do. Join the Discord. Yeah, I got a lot of plans coming out for 2024. I'm going to be streaming almost every single race uh, as much as I can, except maybe for like Australia and Japan because those are at like one in the morning my time. I'll try to do every qualifying session as well because, you know, as a Ferrari fan, we love Saturdays. They're awesome. Uh, I am going to miss the Bahrain race though because I'm having company over, but yeah, sorry about that. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.